In this video, we'll learn the names and functions of the controls on Nikkor Z lenses for Nikon mirrorless cameras. First, let's look at what the parts of the lens are called. These controls are found on the side of the lens. These controls are on the top. Now let's see how you can attach and remove lens hoods. To attach the hood, align the lens hood mounting mark with the lens hood alignment mark and then rotate the hood in the direction shown until the mounting mark is aligned with the lens hood lock mark. To remove the hood, press and hold the lens hood lock release button, rotate the hood in the direction shown, and slide it from the lens. Another method for lenses that feature petal-shaped hoods with no lens hood lock release button is to place your hand in the gap between the petals, squeeze lightly, and rotate and remove the hood. Now let's move on to attaching and removing the tripod collar. Slide the tripod collar all the way onto the tripod collar mounting foot and securely tighten the tripod collar lock screw. To remove the collar, first loosen the tripod collar lock screw all the way and then keep the tripod lock release lever pressed while sliding the collar from the mounting foot. Now let's find out what the lens control is for. Once the lens is attached to the camera, the lens info panel will light when the camera is turned on. You can cycle through the displays by pressing the display button. The focus mode switch is used to choose between auto and manual focus modes. Select manual focus to focus using the lens focus ring. To adjust focus manually when autofocus is selected, keep the shutter release button pressed halfway and rotate the focus ring. The focus limit switch is used to choose the autofocus range. If your subject is an animal in a cage, for example, the camera may focus on the bars in the foreground. Selecting infinity mark to 5 meters restricts focus to distances of 5 meters or above, preventing the camera focusing on foreground objects. All Z-mount lenses feature a customizable control ring that can be used for settings such as aperture, ISO sensitivity, and exposure compensation. To change the role played by the control ring, go to the Custom Settings menu, navigate to Group F Controls, select Custom Setting F2, choose Lens Control Ring, and then highlight the desired option and press OK. You can also customize the LFN and LFN2 buttons in the same way as the control ring. Go to the Custom Settings menu, select Custom Setting F2, choose LFN or LFN2, and then highlight the desired option and press OK. Assigning playback to the LFN button, for example, lets you switch between shooting and playback without taking your left hand from the lens. 
take photography to the next level with the many features of Nikkor Z lenses.